and what is going on YouTube just another gaming channel bring you just another video so here we are guys we're going to visit Zer and he is at the rig on Titan so we're gonna head there now now oh I've only got 74 legendary shards so I might have to revisit him so it might be choice picks to start with we shall see um, Last time I bought three items because I had already had already had one of them. So let's see what he's selling. See what precious loot he's selling this time. I was just about to load a game of crucible because I've had a milestone call to get powerful gear and. Uh, I wanted to do that, but it took 10 minutes to load nothing, so let's just track him there. Where are you, baby? Yeah, baby. Oh, it's downstairs. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, agents of the tentacle. Ooh, look how protrude. Oh, go away. Look how protrude they are. Let's pull that out of that one. Attack anything that um, fancies a chat with me. So, let's see what we've got this week. Zerurunus, Maximus, Aronus. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you know what? I just got those. I've got that. The Dubious Volley, the Wood of Coil. I mean, I don't have, and I don't have the ACD feedbacks. So, that's pretty awesome. So anyway, guys, the ward of the ward of coil. Everyone's probably seen this bad boy in action now. Uh, basically, it shoots a, an array of heat-seeking missiles or a volley of missiles. Uh, if you they split off and hit random targets, or you can put them all into one target, and it automatically reloads ammo on pickups. Now, um, apparently, from a from a distance, uh, on it can be a pretty hit and miss. But uh, when you get up in there, this thing decimates enemies, large groups of enemies. Um, so yeah, you've got the trait there, mechanized auto loader, uh, automatic reloads ammo when you pick it up. So you now if you could just run over heavy, just reloads it. No, no need to reload. And then of course you've got your your weapon fires volleys of rockets. So I can't preview this for the hunter. I've not tried it yet because I thought it was for the warlock for some reason. I don't know. But um, yes, uh, vision marks target targeted enemies and deals more damage to low health marked enemies. So basically, as you as you're scanning targets, um, anything that's low health suddenly you do more damage. That could be pretty useful. That'd be that'd be fucking really good in PvP in Crucible. Can you imagine that in Crucible? I certainly can. So I have that um, now. The sun braces. You don't get your double grenades like you used to with the sunbreakers it just merely extends the time I'm reading signs of high ritual it extends the time you saw a grenade like the original does and um, grenades yeah and it grants grenade energy on solar melee hits so not as good it turns turns like the 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 pulling back on this double nade thing and we all know the ACDC feedback fence melee uh, kills build up. Oh, okay, they've changed this time. Melee kills build up explosive energy within the ACD feedback fence. Being struck by a melee attack unleashes this energy in a devastating explosion and it increases your armor's mobility. Okay, so originally, every time you got melee, you'd get an electric shock, uh, which took you know all your shield off and half your health ish. This time, when you get melee, it builds it up. Um, Till, till it's unleashed, so that's pretty interesting how they've changed that. So I'll be picking up some of those. And that's Zer this week, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I didn't... You know, normally he's got more, you know, from Destiny 1 there's more stuff, so usually it lasts a little bit longer. Uh, but I hope you appreciate that I've uh, managed to get it done on time-ish. And uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. So cheers.